Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the ReactJS course. So we have already completed the basic or the essential topics that are required for a project to run. So we have learned about the use state, use effect and also the use reducer. So and also we have learned some of the important topics also. Not only that, we have also learned uh, with the examples, with the basic examples also we have learned it with the friends, build, app, share, quiz and all those things. Now it's time for us to move on to a completely new topic in the React that is nothing but React Router. So if you try to see React Router, let's try to search in Google about the React Router. And here this is the React Router. At the time of this recording, the current version running is at the time of this recording is 6.4 or something like that. So now we are learning from the first onwards. So let's learn with all of them from the first onwards. So if you try to see here, this is our React Router. And if you want to connect in dark theme, you can connect into a dark theme. Okay. Now, what I want to understand is, so here the features over you, what is new in the 6.4? So what is new means, so here you will be able to see whatever the new concepts that have been introduced in this one. So, okay, let's try to uh, remove this one. Why? Because feature, of, first of all, we don't know about the features and all those things. Afterwards, we can learn about these features. Now here, the second option is, I am new. Yes, we are new to this one. Let's click on this new. Now, this is a simple tutorial or the simple example which they are trying to give so that we can have a clear understanding. So, I will try to do this simple example in our project so that we can understand all the topics about the React Router. So, then afterwards we can go to a other, uh, other examples. We can develop our own example. So, let's try to understand about this React Router. So, in order to, so I will not develop exactly this output. So, I will try to get partial in here to the run. Here the concept, the main idea is in order we need to develop the, we need to understand the routing concept. So that is the main criteria. So fine. So let's try to start the React Router. So in order to start this React Router, what we need? So we need to create a new project. So up to now what we have did is, so we have created a new React project using the Create React app. So from now onwards, what we will try to do is, we will try to use the white, which we have already discussed in the starting of the React course, I have already told you we can create the project in two ways that is one is using the create react app and also the another way is white so now from this from here onwards we will try to create the app using the white build so let's try to create it so here if you try to come down the setup so here you'll be able to see npm create wheat so we can say it as white or wheat so whichever, whichever it may be so i will call it as wheat only why because most of the people will call it as wheat so now here I will create npm create wheat. So you can give the latest name of your project and all the things. Okay. So now at the latest and name of your project, let's try to do it. So here, this is our <coughs> entire project. So here I am going into the command prompt. So let's open the command prompt. So here, this is our command prompt. Now here npm create wheat. Okay. If you want, you can add latest. So latest will be added. So here let's try to press enter. So now it will ask you the project name. So what is the project name that you want to create it? Okay, let's try to create a project name react hyphen router. So we are learning about the basic things, right? React hyphen router. And I am clicking on this one. So it is asking. So the wheat is not limited to the react only. So you can develop, you can develop way different types of frameworks using the wheat. So here I am selecting the react and it will ask you that type of TypeScript or JavaScript. So we will select the JavaScript. <coughs> That's it. So it is asking to go into the react router. Okay. So I went into the react router. It is asking to do npm install. Let's try to do npm install. So we have did this npm install. <coughs> so it will take some time to do this npm install and all those things. So let it take some time. So now the uh, npm install has been completed. So let's open this one. In, let's open this one in our Visual Studio code. So let's I am opening this one in our Visual Studio code. So here it has been created. Now the we, we have opened this one in Visual Studio code. So let's go to the code before co running the code. So we need to run the command npm run dev so that it will run the dev server. 
so now if it runs let's see what it will try to do is so here we it and here you'll be able to see localhost 5173 so automatically it will not open so now we need to open localhost 5173 let's go to the chrome browser and here i am opening localhost 5173 now you will be able to see this type of screen wheat plus react so let it uh, come so by the time we will try to see the code here this is our code so same like how we have created using the create react app in the same scenario the folder structure also will be created let's see the output yeah here this is the wheat plus react so now we are able to do it now the thing is so if you try to see the here the source and all those things so here uh, previously we have created this one uh, the file name using something like app.js right but here we will be creating something like the notation will be app.jsx which we are using the jsx template so that is some that is one difference and here we are having v.config.js so which you will be able to see these are all the things so plugins react and all those things automatically eslint will be added to here so there is no need to worry so if you if you uh, don't have means i will also try to do the uh, video on this one how to create the <coughs> ESLint thing. So now if you try to see here, this is our main.jsx file. So this is our entry file. So there is no need to worry. So here you are using react dom dot create root and here this is the app and this is our app.jsx which we are able to see the output which we are trying to see and app.css be there is a same CSS thing. Assets means if you want to keep any assets, any photo, any images or anything means you can keep it like this. Index.html is the root file. So which the index.html will be created and here this is our public folder so here also you can keep those yellow images which will be public and uh, that's all about the package.json if you try to see this package.json so here the dependencies are react and the react dom and these are all the dev dependencies which we will be able to see the eslint and wheat we are able to see it so this is all so if you we, we have run we have ran this command npm run dev and this is npm run build if you try to do this npm run build all the files will be created in the dist folder okay so lint means it will try to check the lint thing and another one is preview so if you want to check the preview you can check the preview so you these all the things you can check it so that is not a issue and uh, other than this what are there so nothing is there so this is all overall the folder structure if you try to understand it carefully so this is the complete uh, folder structure so now in this project so when you are trying to see the project here you are able to see this project right the output now in this one in this project we will try to create the react router one by one so this is how actually the setup will be in the wait so almost uh, it will be simple only so it will be simple and it will be easy so just when how we are using the npx create react app the same command will be using npm create wheat so then it will ask you the project name and it will ask you some series of questions so which you can answer it very easily and we can create the project so this is how we will be creating the project in the wheat build so in the next video we will try to install the react router dom and we will create our first route so that's it guys about this one so hope you understood about this uh, creation of this new project using the wheat build so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also one thing before leaving so if you, uh, i will commit this all react router in a new branch that is video-96 so as usual so we already know about this one so I will be committing all the code. So this is all the code I will commit it. So in, you know, in your uh, what I can say. Um, in our uh, git, git branch. So the description will be provided in the description. Uh, sorry, the GitHub link will be provided in the description below. You can take a look at it. So that's it guys about this one. So we will meet, we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.